Today on What Went Wrong, we talk more about actors. I'm Brett Mauser and I've made over 40 feature films and worked with a thousand actors and actresses. Now I've learned that everything in filmmaking is important. Lighting, audio, special effects, the writing, and the acting. So first off, let me say that your actors are incredibly important to your film. Whether they're good or bad, they're still there on your set, giving you their time and effort to help you make your movie a success. They should be treated with respect and appreciation, but you shouldn't allow them to take advantage of you. Now, with that said, today's episode is really directed at actors and actresses. As filmmakers, we need your talent, your skill, but most importantly, we need your presence. We need you to be there on set at the time we ask you to be there. There are a lot of things that we as the directors have to deal with. On set romances, actor feuds, clashing egos, any number of things that could be easily avoided. But actors and actresses like drama. That's why they do what they do. So they're going to create drama anywhere they can. As filmmakers, we have to get used to that and accept that it's going to happen. And actors, for the most part, will give you a pass. But there are a few things absolutely that you need to do. The first is show up on time. When you don't, you throw the entire set off balance. You cost us money. You waste other people's time. And to be honest, that's unforgivable. It's rude, arrogant, and you need to stop that shit. When your call time is 9 a.m., you show up at 9 a.m. at the latest. You not only make yourself look bad, but you lower morale while the cast and crew sits around waiting for you. You may think it makes you feel special or that it's no big deal, but it is. Absolutely it is. So stop doing it. The second thing, when you come to set, know your goddamn lines, would you? Now, yeah, sometimes I've had to cast last minute or I've made script changes or haven't finalized the script until a day or so before. But if I've sent you the script a week in advance, you have no excuse. And I mean absolutely no excuse for not having your lines memorized. And if you've had your script for a week and you don't know your lines and then I hear you BSing with the cast about last night's episode of Game of Thrones, you've just shown me you don't take my project seriously and you don't value the time of other actors and the crew. Nothing drives me nuts more than an actor that doesn't have their lines down. Now it's fine, going over and rehearsing on set, you may not have them exactly memorized. Hell, I've come to set without my lines memorized, but of course I wrote the damn thing. A few read-throughs and I'm fine. But if I'm waiting around for an hour for you to get your lines memorized, you've wrecked the day. You've made my job as a director that much more difficult because now instead of fine-tuning your performance and me focusing on your emotions, your tone and delivery, I'm having to deal with reminding you what your goddamn lines are. It's frustrating and again, it's disrespectful to all involved because again, you're wasting our time and ruining the performances of the other actors and in turn, making the movie less than what it could have been. <sighs> all right, so now there are other pieces of advice like don't sleep with or get involved in romantic or sexual relationships with the other actors. You wouldn't do it at your day job, so why are you doing it on my set? I once had two actors, one married, the other not, get into a sexual relationship. Then the wife found out about it. And I later cast the two in a project together, and the actor told me that his wife wouldn't allow him to work with the actress ever again. So I had to fire her. So rather than deal with it, I just fired them both. So don't do it. I don't need the extra stress. Wait until the movie's over and have all the fun you want. And if you're a lead, don't make fun of the extras or the background actors just because they're background actors and extras. They're there to make you look good and they're spending their time for you. So don't insult them or talk shit about them, especially on independent film. It could very easily be you in the background instead of as the lead. I could go on forever about what you shouldn't do as an actor or actress, from outrageous food demands, oh, the food demands, okay, like being a vegan or vegetarian. It's cool, I get it, You're, you've chosen a special diet, but you know what? That means more time and more money out of my pocket to make you a special meal. You're lucky we're feeding you at all. Think about it, somewhere along the way, it became expected to get fed on a movie set. Well, if I'm paying you, why am I responsible for your food? 
When you're working at your nine to five job, do you expect them to pay for your lunch every day? No. Then why do you expect me to? Why do you expect the film to? Now, if you're all out in BFE, I get it. You're shooting miles away from anywhere to eat. Sure, we should certainly provide food. But if we're shooting two blocks away from 50 restaurants and I'm paying you, why do I have to pay for your lunch too? Now, this is different if I'm deferring you or you're volunteering. But if I'm paying you, why am I also feeding you? Just something for both sides to think about. So here are the basics. Respect other people. Respect their time. Respect them as human beings. That's it. If you do that, you won't show up late. You'll have your lines memorized. You won't make outrageous demands. And you won't get an ego and think you're better than everybody else. Thereby making everyone's time on set a major pain in the ass. Don't be a pain in the ass. You're not special. You're not saving the world. We're not curing cancer. We're making movies. We're telling stories. Just come to set, have fun, do your job, and be grateful for the opportunity to do what you love and what millions of people wish they could do, but can't. And if you don't like me or my films, then just don't do them. Don't be in the movies, then bitch about it and make everyone's job that much more difficult. So basically, don't be an asshole.